All right, uh, we are in fact uh, joined now by senior lawyer Majid Memon uh, to give us more perspective on just what all of this uh, means. Uh, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us, uh, Mr. Memon. How much should we read into Rathor's interim bail? Is this relief or just procedure? Now, let us understand uh, where do we stand today. First, I must convey to your channel, to the viewers, that uh, on this new day of a new decade, uh, let us not consider this development as a setback to justice seekers of uh, Aradhana and all her uh, supporters. Uh, the, whenever an anticipatory bail application is filed in a court of law, thousands of such applications are being filed every day in different courts. Now, an application for anticipatory bail cannot be heard immediately. It needs to be uh, heard by you know asking both the sides the petitioner that is the accused and also the state or the other parties you know who should come prepared to advance their submissions on the merits of the plea of the accused now in this case today rathod has been given interim bail and probably a panic button seems to have been pressed and the whole nation probably even aradhna have seen is rather rather dejected disappointed but i think there is no reason this is no setback Please remember that today's protective order is only in the nature of a relief granted for sustenance of his anticipatory bail application, which is to be kept alive for hearing on a future date, that is on the 7th. Now, it, remember that grant of such interim bail is no guarantee of ultimately succeeding in bail. The, the prospects of Rathod succeeding ultimately on 7th to get bail would mainly depend upon the merits of the case for and against him, which is supposed to be uh, now listed for hearing on the 7th of January. So this must not be construed as a bad omen for Aradhna or Uchika or anybody or that whole family, Prakash family. I but think what, till 7th... What your message to Ruchika's friends and family at this point? Yeah, I must, I must tell Ruchika's lawyers, Ruchika's supporters that uh, please ensure that the public prosecutor who represents the state is uh, sufficiently briefed with regard to each and every development relating to the case, all the facts and circumstances relating to the offense are properly placed, marshaled before the court to oppose bail. And in my humble view, with whatever little experience that I have in criminal uh, justice system of our country, anticipatory bail is not a luxury you know for a person who commits a serious crime right. and then gets away even without an hour's arrest anticipatory bail is granted in a very selective uh, matters uh, where special cases made out for exercise of discretion against right. arrest of a person all right, Here, legally, Rathor, we, we all know legally what could happen to Rathor next for example if he's charged for abetment to suicide under 306 of the indian penal code can he still be arrested yeah certainly see if a cognizable and non bailable offense is registered against a person that person needs to be arrested unless protected by an anticipatory bail order or any such other relief now in this case we all the whole nation whole country has been witnessing over the last fortnight uh, that uh, number of things ha are surfacing, although belatedly, that there was tremendous pressure used by this accused during all that period post molestation and pre suicide of uh, uh, Ruchika. Well, uh, I think if the fa evidence is properly, if the facts are properly placed before the court, this may not uh, well be a case for anticipatory bail. All right, Mr. Berman, thanks so much for joining us with your views on that case.